Well, there's my Harbor Freight 10 by 17 portable garage. This is five years later, maybe six. I'll put a description in the description of this video how old it is. But I'll show you inside here in a minute. But it ripped. We had a very heavy snow here. We've had three heavy snows. This is December of 2020. We've had three heavy snows now. The first snow didn't bother it. The second snow, it started to rip, and I'll show you. And then this last snow, it completely ripped end to end. And then we had a wind right after the snow, and the snow just shredded the roof here. So I'll show you what's going on. That silver tarp on there is a Harbor Freight tarp. Uh, I hate these cheap tarp. Even that tarp's supposed to be a better tarp. But the corner pieces won't stay in. I tried to tighten this up and it pulled right out. So, Harbor Freight doesn't sell these anymore. I got these on eBay. I got a dozen of them for about a dollar a piece. So, this is temporary. And I'll explain that to you here in a minute as I go on. But there's a temporary fix. Here's what it looks like inside. There's how shredded it is. Now it started in the back, back here. You see that duct tape patch I put on there? That was my fault there. I had a piece of two by two steel tubing standing in here against that metal right there. And it slid over and rubbed a hole in the roof. That ain't the tarp's fault there. That was my fault. However, the, the first snow we got, those were all caved in. Anybody has one of these tarps has experienced this with snow. That these, uh, the roof will settle in and get hunk caught on that bar going across there, that purling going across there. And the snow will lay in behind it and belly down, stretch the tarp. So I come in here with a push broom pushed up on that to shove the snow out over when I pushed up it ripped that was the first but it only ripped all three feet or so in there but it did rip second snow we got which was several weeks later this it did the same thing it bellied down I came in with the room pushed up and it had started it already started to rip to about to this one the third snow we got same thing but right after that snow, we got a wind, and then the wind just shredded this. We've had some pretty heavy winds here lately, recently, and it just shredded that. So, you know, the building's worthless now, and to the point of keeping weather out. So, however, the saving grace is I get on the old interweb there, as Richard Rowling says, you get on the old interweb and look around, and I find a link where a guy says, yes, you can buy a new tarp for them. Go to harborfreight.com slash parts. Now, there's no link that I can find. See if I can get out of here without tripping and falling. Uh, there's no place on, on Harbor Freight's website that I can find that says parts. Order parts, get parts, find parts, anything. So I call the store, my local Harbor Freight store, which isn't too far away. I said, I want to get this tarp, replacement tarp, supposed to have them. Well, I don't know. Let me look and see. It's okay, fine. Is it on the website? And I said, no, it's not on the website. It's on the parts list on the parts website. I said, I got a part number. Here, let me give you a side giver the part number. <gasps> yes, I see that. It's a girl. I'm making fun of her. And I'm not making fun of her because she's a girl. I'm making fun of her because she took absolutely no effort to help me beyond the questions I ask. That ticked me off. I said, uh, well, can you order this? I said, do you have that in the store? No, we don't have that. I said, can you order it and get it in for me? Uh, I don't know. And then she says, let me get somebody. I said, well, no. I said, let me talk to somebody that would know. After about five minutes of sitting on the phone, the phone, somebody picked up and hung up twice. 
someone finally picks up and says, how can I help you? And I told her the situation. And I said, I need that replacement tarp. Can you order that for me? No, we can't order that. You have to order it online. Do it online. Okay, fine. So I go back to online, to the parts uh, page, and said, uh, and looked everything up, got the number, wrote it all down and everything. But there's no link on there to order anything. I'm thinking, how do I order this? There's no link. Well, there was an 800 number there. So I called the 800 number. That's how you got to order it. You call the 800 number, tell the person that answers, do you want order parts and what you want to order parts for? And then she she orders it and takes your credit card. And the thing I liked about it was there's no shipping. It's just sales tax. There was no shipping involved in it, which I thought was pretty cool. Um uh, Usually, you know, you find a bargain in price, then you add shipping on it, it's no longer a bargain. So it's 75 bucks for this roof tarp on uh, harborfreight.com slash parts. You'll find a list under Cover Pro. You open up a list, and there's a whole list of all the brand names of stuff they sell. You click on the brand name, and then, and then it breaks down further from there. But go to Cover Pro, which is what these are, Cover Pro tarps. And you can order it for 75 bucks. So if you have a uh, Harbor Freight portable garage and something happens to it and you can't find it, there's where it's at. There's where you find that this replacement roof for these tarps. Now, I didn't get it yet. I ordered it yesterday. So I'm, imag I'm guessing it's coming from California where they're at. I don't know, but that's where I'm guessing it's coming from. But for 75 bucks, it's better than going by a whole new building just in order to get a new tarp which is 175 bucks right now they're on sale so uh there you go if you get a hole in the in your roof you need to replace the roof on your and you can buy the end panels too they have the end panels there if you need the end panels if they get destroyed for some reason so there you go i hope this helps somebody it's it uh gives you an advantage to you know, save you some money and, and, and keep from from losing a good... Oh, oh, it's been a good build. I mean, look at the junk I got in here. It's full. John Deere parts. Got a John Deere power unit in there. Uh, built a, a small shelf back there, a table, with, and I put pallets on the ground in order to keep stuff up because I do get some water through here once in a while when it rains really heavy. And just all my junk that I keep in here, my gas cans and and grease gun, and you know, my welder's in, one of my welders is in here, and just, just a good place to keep extra stuff, I mean, these are good tarps, tarp buildings for the price, they're pretty darn good, I, I'm very happy with it, to be honest with you, very happy, just that that happened, but, but then again, I don't know how many years that is, that's got to be, this got to be five years, I'll, I'll put a, in a description, on the title of this video. I'll put the day, how, how old it is in there. So anyway, there you go. Hope this helps somebody. Thanks for looking. God bless.